What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I'd ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And for all PlayStation users alike, got some news for us, y'all. Got some news for us, PlayStation family. Got some news for us, man. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of indifferent on how to feel about this. I'm not even gonna lie. To be honest with you, I'm I'm I'm, I'm torn. You understand what I'm saying? Well, what are you talking about, Rage King? I'll tell you. PlayStation Plus. Well, should I say Sony has announced that PlayStation Plus will now have tiers. Will now have a tier list, which means they you pay a certain amount to get this amount for get this amount of content. You pay another you pay another amount to get another amount of content, etc. etc. Got an article here. We're going to read. We're going to react. Because that's just how we do. All right. So let's get into it. Sony has finally announced its revision of its PlayStation Plus subscription service, effectively combining PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now, alongside adding premium tiers that look likely to compete with Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass. There's a brand new three tier structure to the service Essential, Extra, and Premium. The extra tier will cost $14.99 a month and includes up to 400 PS5 and PS4 titles, while the premium tier will cost $17.99 a month and include all of those games alongside an extra 340 additional games from PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, Original PlayStation, and PlayStation Portable. I'm going to stop right there. For all of y'all out there, all of y'all young gamers, y'all don't know shit about that PSP boy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this because I don't even think it's on a limb me saying this. PlayStation Portable was literally 10 to 20 years before its time. You got Nintendo Switch, yeah, that's cool. You know, Nintendo Switch going to do its thing. But imagine if PlayStation Portable, which was nothing more than the precursor, the original competition to Game Boy Advance and would have whooped and whooped and would have whipped and beat Game Boy's Advance ass had it would have been on the shelves now would clearly be competing with Nintendo Switch now PlayStation Portable was that device it was the only reason why it didn't last is because it was well before its time if you don't know about that PlayStation Portable I suggest you ask somebody boy I suggest you ask somebody let's continue the membership tiers will officially come into place starting in June with a phased approach across Asia and North America before making its way everywhere else how much does the all new PlayStation Plus cost? We've included a detailed breakdown of the cost just below here, but putting it simply, if you want to remain on your basic PlayStation Plus subscription, you're looking at a PlayStation Plus, you're looking at PlayStation Plus Essential, excuse me. This costs $9.99 a month and includes all the benefits you're already used to, including online multiplayer access, cloud save game, or cloud game save, excuse me, monthly free games, and more. PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium are what many will compare to the Xbox Game Pass model. PlayStation Plus Essential. In the United States it will cost $9.99 monthly, $24.99 quarterly, and $59.99 yearly. So basically the same price we got now. You understand what I'm saying? Quarterly is every three months, y'all. That's every three, excuse me, it's every four months. Excuse me, because it's 12 months in a year. No, it's three months. So it's 12 months in a year, three times four is 12. So you understand what I'm saying? So quarterly is every three months, for those that didn't know. Uh, in the United Kingdom, it looks like it's going to be $6.99. I'm just going to read off in the United States because I don't live in the Europe. Uh, I don't live in the Europe, in the UK, anything like that. So I'm just going to read off in the United States, y'all. PlayStation Plus Extra in the United States will cost $14.99 a month, $39.99 quarterly, and $99.99 year yearly, not including tax. So already a $30 increase. PlayStation Plus Premium, $17.99 a month, $49.99 quarterly, and $119.99 yearly. So double the price what you're paying now. That, that should go over well. What games will be on PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium? 
If you subscribe to the PlayStation Plus Premium Membership tier, you can expect around 700 games in total to be included with a subscription. 700 games ain't bad. I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna cap on that. that. That's a hell of a lot of content. And look, I'm, I'm gonna say this too. I'm gonna say this too. I get why there's an increase in, in, in prices, you understand what I'm saying? Because those guys, they, they do run a business, I understand them. So I do understand at the end of the day, people don't just make video games just because it's for fun. People do do this to feed their families. I get it. I understand that. Let's continue. But I will say, well, okay, before I continue, I will finish and say this. If you're going to add content in, if you're going to add more content in, more games in, especially if y'all going to go back to the retro games, all the games people have been begging for remasters on that y'all really don't even have to remaster on, y'all can just put them on PlayStation now or put them in the shit that y'all got now. I, I can see why they did that. I can see why they did this. I'm going to save the rest of that thought for the end of the video. Sony has stated at launch they're expecting to have games such as Death Stranding, God of War, Marvel Spider-Man, they have Marvel Spider-Man in this article twice. Oh, Mar Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Mortal Kombat 11, and Returnal. Games from PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and original PlayStation era titles will also be available via cloud streaming and direct downloads, but this will definitely differ depending on what game you're trying to play. Okay, I'm off. Okay, retro games are all... Okay, retro games made to come. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm, co I'm cool with that. Retro games coming back. I I'm not going to say no to playing retro games. I'm not even going to cap to you. I I'm, I'm really not. I'm not. Because if you haven't played video games... Because, I mean, the people that play video games and, and like them now, don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to play what you like, like what you play. You understand what I'm saying? But I... I, I don't mean to sound like an old head. I really don't. It's just games just hit so much different back then. I know the graphics wasn't about much of shit, but gameplay-wise, man, and fun-wise, and overall satisfaction of the customer and good product, bro, y'all not fucking with old-school games. Y'all not fucking with retro games, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. At the current state games at now, y'all not fucking with the retro games. You're just not. Let's continue. What happens to my current PlayStation Plus subscription? With PlayStation Now transitioning into new PlayStation Plus service, Sony has stated PlayStation Now will no longer be available to buy standalone. Let me read that again, y'all. With PlayStation Plus Now transitioning into the new PlayStation Plus service, Sony has stated Play PlayStation Now, PS Now, will no longer be available to buy standalone. Any current PlayStation Now subscribers will have their membership converted to PlayStation Plus Premium at no extra cost at launch. Say what now? Hold on, let me read that again because that fucked me up real quick. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Say what? Any current PlayStation Now subscribers will have their membership converted to PlayStation Plus Premium at no extra cost at lunch so y'all if you ain't got playstation now go ahead and get that shit and get the premium package if you ain't got get it hurry 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 get it before they change their goddamn mind all right there is no current word on how those who have stacked months or even years of playstation plus membership will be able to upgrade and convert their current time into extra or premium tiers that was gonna be my next question i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna count However, I do have a suggestion. If you're going to convert PlayStation Now people over to the premium at launch, dare I say, for the people that have at least... Well, I'm going to say this. If you got six months or less on your PlayStation Plus, you should be able to be upgraded. You should be able to upgrade it to at least the extra tier. You know what I'm saying? You should at least get extra. You should at least get extra for the remaining. You understand what I'm saying? at launch at launch if you got you know a year or more added on then you should be able at launch for at, you should at, at launch be able to be upgraded to PlayStation Premium for a year that that's just me that's just me that's just my opinion feel free to disagree let's continue there's no okay moreover what about those who have bought excuse me Moreover, what about those who have both PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus? No clear answers yet, but Sony is expecting to reveal even more about the new PlayStation Plus very soon. And that is the end of the article. Now, again, I'm like this. I, I, I'm, I'm indifferent, y'all. I'm torn. 
because normally you would look at this and I know for the people out there that see the increase in price immediately go ape shit. I already get I get it because when I first saw this article I'm like damn now we got to pay double the amount we got to pay double the amount right to get what we already get but that's not the case that's not the case you can still keep the same plan you got now they just added on to where they just basically took and made a fucking child they just basically took PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now and made a baby you understand what I'm saying? And here's why I'm not here's why I'm not so angry about the PlayStation Now. It's simply because those older titles, they still have these things called rights. They still have these things called royalties. They still have this thing called copyright. You understand what I'm saying? They still have this thing called being paid for your likeness. You understand what I'm saying? You still got to pay these people to have their games on display. You know, you can't just say, oh, well, it was a part of the Sony uh, machine, so we get to just play. No, no, no. They got to make their money. The people who made those games back in the day, they got to make their money, too. And if you know, if anybody know Rage King, if y'all done been with me for any amount of time, y'all know Rage King ain't going to never hate on the motherfucker making money. I, if you make your motherfucking paper, boo-boo, do your motherfucking thing, I'm not going to hate on you for it. You understand what I'm saying? And, and... Now that I'm thinking about it, y'all. Now that I'm thinking about it as I'm doing this video. I'm not even gonna count. Seeing as how they gonna bring back all the retro games, seeing as how they gonna give people the opportunity to relive or 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 should I say create memories for themselves, create new memories for themselves from the foundation of video of video games themselves, man. The retro games, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Though it is a bit pricey, I will admit. Paying double the amount to get all that shit. You got to think about it. You are paying double the amount to get all that shit. But look at how much shit you're getting. You understand what I'm saying? You're getting countless titles. And those are just... They say 700 now. But Garen goddamn T. They going to add more and more onto that game. Because more and more people from the past. More and more games from the past. Going to slowly but surely start showing their ass back up. You going to start seeing the re-release of old video... Of old uh, sports gaming titles. Oh, you're going to start seeing more and more shit. You understand what I'm saying? And then, I will even say a step further. I don't know if they're going to actually do it. But it would not surprise me at all. I think it would be a badass idea. If some of those retro titles, if it's at all possible, you can start playing those games online. You understand what I'm saying? You can somehow add an online feature. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm thinking too far into the future. But I'm just simply saying, this if this is executed right and they bring out the right games, it could be a good thing. You understand what I'm saying? But with them bringing the the older games back, the retro games back, this is this could definitely be a win if they if they if they do the right thing with it. And we definitely gonna see how this competition between this new PlayStation Plus and and Xbox Game Pass, we definitely gonna see who's gonna be the better of the two and what the fans prefer. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the new PlayStation Plus. As long as y'all are respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's been a pleasure making it for you. My name Rage King, and I'll see y'all later.